So today we are going to be taking apart a Sega Game Gear. So in order to do that, we need some tools. So we need a Phillips screwdriver, and we actually need a really special tool called a game bit, or otherwise known as a security bit, the 4.5 millimeter version. So just got this in, and we're gonna try to fix my speaker that doesn't play any sound on Game Gear. So let's give it a shot. All right, so first of all, we're gonna locate all the screws and take them all out. Okay, now it's time to open the game bit, the one and only, right here with this special tool. See the shape? See the screw? Security bit, 4.5 millimeter. Let's do it. Let's open it up. So now it's time to open up the Game Gear. Let's see what happens. Whoa, check it out. Wow. Okay, so first step. Oops, it looks like I forgot this guy right here. So it's got to very carefully, don't recommend what I'm doing really, but it, oh, there it goes. And now they can be separated. All right, so next we got to take out the screws on either end. So this one, not this one, not for this, this, this shield thing but this one, and then mirroring it over on this side, then one, two, three, four, on the edges, I'm assuming. We'll take out more if we have to.
All right, so it's time to remove the motherboard from the Sega Game Gear. Let's do it. Ready? Let's go. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh my. Whoa, look at that screen. Oh. Oh, I hear something. Oh, it's just really quiet. Yeah. All right, well, that solves that mystery. I guess it's just really quiet. Okay, everybody, so basically I had to wait for a new part to arrive, which is this new soundboard that has modified capacitors that will last longer. Here we go. And it still has a Sega logo on it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take the original soundboard out. Save the screws. If you wanna see a side-by-side -side comparison, here we go. Okay, so here is the original soundboard. Here is the modified one. Now hopefully it should work. Let's find out. So here we go. We're going to plug the wires into the new soundboard. First, we plug in what would be the connection for the speaker. Make sure that's secure. And then let's just plug back in the power board. Need to do that. Okay. Now last step, since it's kind of a short cable, we need to lift it up and plug back in the rest of the soundboard. Make sure it's secure. All right, awesome, so let's test it out. So I have all the stuff popped in. Let's go ahead and turn up the volume. Make sure that Sonic Chaos game is inserted properly. And let's test it out. Yay! <laughs> Yes, quite possibly the best portable Sonic game ever. Got my game, you're working, yay!